Hello everybody, welcome to this SamDoc review video. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you everything you're gonna to need to know about SamDoc. As always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll also be leaving a discounted link in the description so that you can always get your money's worth for SamDoc. So here we are on SamDoc, and what SamDoc is, is essentially a CRM software and a very, very simple and you know, intermediate to beginner level one. Um, and the CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. And what this allows you to do is basically manage all the information that you need to know about your customers, such as things that you've made, money that you've made, customers, how many you've got, leads that they've given you and such like. So here we are on the main dashboard. As you can see, it gives us a good afternoon. Uh, we have a quick add button at the top so we can add people, organizations, leads, and deals. And then all of the different information that we've got, we've got a pipeline breakdown. We've got a deal breakdown. We've got how many recently created sections. As you can see, I've recently created five new people, four new organizations, two new leads, and three new deals. These are all done automatically as soon as you set up your account. So I haven't actually you know, manually created them. That's done automatically. You've got all of your new appointments. As you can see, you can have a calendar. So you can collect your, sorry, connect your calendar or even just have your own one on here as well. You have a way to look at all of your leads, deals, and how many have been won, and then all of your tasks that you have to do, along with an add button so you can add a task, description, date, and due date. Quickly, if I go to the quick add button and I wanted to add, say, uh, a deal, all you would need to put is the name of the deal. So we'll put deal one and we'll hit create. And what this will do is allow us to select an estimated value. So if we say 50, um, it's estimated to euros um, upon you know default, but um, we're going to move on to the qualification area. As you can see, requirements are unknown, timeline is unknown, authorities are unknown, and budget is unknown. So if I edit the details under here, you can basically have a little look at what the customer needs a solution for and the requirements of this uh, of this deal when does the customer want a solution by have the key stakeholders been identified so you can add a decision or a budget owner and then has the money been set aside for a solution so has the person actually got the money or are they just asking for one you can put yes no or not yet you can also add additional contacts at the bottom and then you obviously simply once you've done all of that you can finish editing and then that will be added to your deals. You can view your leads by hitting the lead button on the small triangle diagram. As you can see, we've got a prospecting lead, Marcus Kindman. This is a sample, so it's not actually one that we've been given. Um, and this is what we've got. This is a prospecting lead. Um, as you can see, if I hit on this, it gives us their, you know, what would be their mobile number, what their email would be, their name, what they do, a partner project, and then it gives us some requirements. And this is all the stuff for the deal. As you can see, this is what it would look like when it's all filled out. And then under the on hold, we have Laura Fisher also laid out very, very similarly with their phone number, email address, and what their sort of deal is going to be as well. So these are the same with the leads, deals, and how many you've won. So we're now going to move on to the inbox center. Now, this is where you can essentially have all of your messages incoming. So as you can see, once you connect your first source, only you will be able to see incoming messages on the left. So if I add an inbound source, we're able to essentially have sources from where all our messages are coming from. So by hitting add your first source, you can have a simple form or a custom API. So for this you know, example, I'm going to do a simple form and essentially you can add a form for people to complete. And when they've completed that, all the messages, all the information will come straight into your inbox and you can obviously add fields to your form. So if we go for a person field, we can go for a first name, all of these different options here, organization fields such as websites, LinkedIn, social media pages, and the lead fields, which is just name and requirements. On the left, we have the option for user settings. We're not going to go into that because it has my phone number in it, but it basically allows you to change your email address, phone number, passwords, stuff like that. Under notifications, you have have options to basically tick whether you want newsletters or not. My calendar, you can connect a calendar such as Google to this website. Under the inbox center settings, you can have a look at all of the different active sources that you've got. As you can see, we've got this one here, new source, submission count, last submission, creation date, and its status. You also have an import option where you can import new contacts. So that is a really efficient way of adding people, communicating with people, however you choose to do that. You also have custom fields, so you can set custom person fields or organization fields, but as you can see, we haven't added them. 
If you did want to add them, you just have to hit the add button. You'd be able to select a text field, a single choice answer, a multiple choice answer, or a currency amount. Um, and then for the same thing for the organization, you're able to import all of these as well. Currently in beta testing, you have email login. As you can see, this feature is currently in beta. We do currently support Microsoft Office and Gmail, but other providers may work. So if you use Samsung email or Hotmail or sort of Yahoo or any other thing, it may work, but the ones that it recommends are office and gmail you're able to use a little code that it gives you to sort of send outgoing emails to and forward incoming emails to as you can see this would just be an email address that would feed into your specific dashboard and then you can allow login only from these email addresses so you can add email addresses and add them to the whitelist as well so only those people can actually log emails in the system and then once that's done under the inbox center, this is essentially what it will look like. You'll have basically something that looks exactly like an inbox. You have your company inbox, you're assigned to me, a new source, and then your trash along with any messages that you've got here. Under lead board, we've already been under here, but uh, on the right, you can also add pipelines. So as you can see, we have our first pipeline here. You drag a lead and assign it as a deal. So as you can see, this will basically show you which stage you're actually at in the process. So we've got the pipeline, you can see qualified leads, second stage is confirmed requirements, then the offer is sent, then you negotiate the offer, and then you either win or lose the deal. It's completely um, dependent on what they think. You can also add a new lead at the top and also view its archive along with a nice little sort by tab under deal board you're able to view all of the different deals that you've got so as you can see you can add pipelines just like i showed you previously um, but we have all of these different uh sections that we just went over but in a much more in-depth format so we have all of our qualified leads and all you need to do is you simply drag over to whichever stage they are and whenever they've won you simply drag them into confirmed requirements and that deal one of 50 euros has therefore been completed um, you can also view by all of your one and all of your lost deals as you can see um, but we can also have a look at all of them by hitting pipeline and this is where they'll all appear you can also view different people's deals so if you were to have different people actually on this all you would need to therefore do is have their thing added and then you'd be able to sort of select them to do different deals and then you'd be able to view by obviously unassigned there's only me at the moment but you would be able to view as by as many different people there are so that you can keep a track on you know what different people in your company are doing and then you can also hit new deal and spark a brand new one when one comes in under the contacts tab, you're able to view all of the contacts that you've got. As you can see, these are ones that are already added default. Um, we have Black Ribs Consulting, Marcus Kindman, Global Beers, etc., etc. It also shows us the sales stage, so how many times they've actually either given you a lead or how many deals you've done together. You can view how many deals that you've won or lost with that particular person, any tasks that are open with that person, so they can keep track that you're actually, you know, pleasing people. Uh, maybe you have someone with a due date sooner than another you can keep track on which task needs to be done first here you also have the status so these people are all non-customers and then you can obviously either add you know ring them by hitting this button here um, and then you can send a message to them you can add people to actually do that particular contact um, and then you have the option to delete it here and when you actually click on one you can view even more information so you have contact fields you have their address as you can see um, on the right here you have an overview so how much money is open how much is won how much is lost the win rate, contacts, open potential. Under the activity tab, you're able to basically go through note, call and meeting and basically just summarize what happened in different communications with that person. So if you just want to add a little note, you can. If you've had a phone call with them, you go into the call option and just put what was discussed. And then the same for meeting, you can sort of describe what happened, where it was, who was there, all sorts of things. So that basically everything that you could possibly want to manage or re record and note down you can note it down here. It's really, really useful. You're also able to export this. You can add another contact if you have one. So it's very, very simple. You add a, either a person or an organization, and then you have your input boxes. So salutation, Mr. or Mrs. Um, we'll put Mr. John Smith, and then you simply put continue, and then you can put how they can be contacted. So we'll do one at one.com, um, and then we'll also do 0123456789 and then hit create person 
and that person will therefore appear at the bottom as you can see persons without organizations and then you can assign an organization to them if you so wish but because this we didn't actually hit add a new organization this person won't have any going back to this button down here we already got to email logging so we're now going to go to integrations you can essentially use integrations such as zapier and LexOffice to automate things that you can do as you can see zapier is an automation platform um, and LexOffice allows you to automatically create new offers and invoices directly from your deals so if you don't want to have to do half the stuff yourself and manually each time zapier or LexOffice are really really useful things and this obviously would view the templates for both of them and connect them to your software as you can see you can also set your default currency we have euros dollars pounds or swiss franc and then at the bottom you have your business address as you can see also under users, you're able to view all the users that you've got and you can add it via the top right with the add user button and simply just put in their email address. Simple as that. And that is about it for Samdoc. So now what do I think about this? Samdoc, I think, is really, really good if you're an up and coming business and you're looking for a simple, intuitive software to manage your business and manage all your customers and outgoings, you know, that sort of stuff. The CRM is very, very good. I like how a lot of the features are free. Obviously, paid plan there is. Um, however, all of the options that you do get on the free plan is, you know, quite not completely limitless, but the, the limit is high. The limit of what you can do is incredibly high, and that's one thing that I really like about it. The way that it looks, the user interface, really, really clean, and I really would recommend this to anyone who's got a small business and wants to manage their customers. But thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.